Wildcats began postseason play or begin postseason play tomorrow night. The Cats are number two seed in the SEC tournament and will face Alabama after the Tide eliminated Ole Miss tonight. Many Kentucky fans headed down to Nashville a day early to watch some of the earlier games in the tournament. WYMT's Tanner Hesterberg has more from the Music City. Good evening from Bridgestone Arena in downtown Nashville. If you thought the big blue crowd would be light today because the Cats don't play until tomorrow, you thought wrong as there were plenty of blue clad faithful here in town braving bad weather at times to check out the rest of the SEC. It's cat country in the country music capital as Kentucky looks for another SEC tournament crown. Pat and Warren Skinnamone are optimistic about UK's chances. I think if they bring their A team, they can beat them all real bad. But it depends on what they, what team comes out. We've had quite an up and down year, but uh, not quite as good as last year. But I think we stand a real good chance of coming home with a championship. Our last game was a great game. LSU was fantastic. What wasn't so fantastic, the weather. Storms moved in Thursday evening, meaning it was time for umbrellas and ponchos. In order to avoid the heavy rain, fans were allowed to stay inside the arena between sessions. Is the rain dampening your passion not, for Kentucky? Not at all. Not at all. No, go with good. We're staying dry. Yes. No, not really. I mean, it's, it's inside, so you don't have to worry about it. There's plenty of places around here that you can stay inside and out of the rain, so it's it's not that big of a deal. Obviously, Kentucky fans expected once again to vastly outnumber other fan bases. However, we have seen a lot of orange here today. Tennessee upset Vanderbilt earlier to advance to the quarterfinals of the tournament. Reporting outside Bridgestone Arena in Nashville, Tanner Hesterberg, WYMT Mountain News.